Okay, I want to show you something really neat that instead of sitting in front of the TV and scratching your fanny and uh, eating Cheetos, you can do this instead. Now first, let's take a look at a somewhat expensive black rapid hand strap. Now there's a reason for this buckle being here, and that is whether you got fat or skinny hands, you can slip your hand through and you could cinch it up next to your wrist to match any hand. Well, isn't that nice? And it has these nice rattly buckles, which no photographer actually likes. Attaches to the base of your camera. And uh, was well, decently well made. Well, that about something better that you can make yourself for basically nothing that's a lot better than this. I'm going to show you why it's better and why it's cheaper. Okay. Now let's take a look at something. Now, I, I know you probably don't do leather work. This is just an accent that I added, but I'll show you an alternative in a second. This is a hand strap I made out of some regular cordage, okay? Now what you do is you measure it so that your hand is able to slip through there fairly easily, but even if you let go of your camera, unless you wiggle your hand out, your camera's not going to fall off. So if you cut it to the perfect size, then you don't need a slider for your hand. Now how does this work? Okay, one thing you need is if you don't have a leather store near you, this is actually waxed nylon thread. You can buy it off of eBay, okay, and a leather sewing needle. Now, you're not going to be sewing leather like I have in my piece. This is just an accent piece. This leather that I added is just a cover. It's an accent piece. If you can see down here, let me focus. If you can see right down in here, I have two pieces of this cord. And I melted them over the stove, or you could use a match, and then I have a smaller piece, which is just looped about like this, okay? And I melted the ends of it. Now what I did is I used this cord, I first sewed the one loop end of this smaller piece of cordage together, and then I sewed through all four pieces. These two pieces, as I pass through this one piece, I pass through this, this, and then through the other side. And you do about 20 stitches through there, and it's really easy to push a needle through this. But it will leave you with this little thing on the end and with this piece of cord in the middle. Now what you can do instead of the leather, like I did, is get some industrial super glue. Let me refocus here. And you take some thin cordage like this, which you should already have, accessory cord. Okay. Now you wrap it once, like this, and you glue it, okay? Or you can knot it. But once you have that one end secured, then what you do is you make about, I don't know, 10 loops like this, and you cinch them up tight, so it ends up looking like this, okay? And you put that part here, and then you could actually put a couple drops of super glue at like uh, this corner, that corner, that corner, the industrial super glue, and it will stay solid. So the end of your hand strap where I have this leather, yours will look like this in whatever color that you choose. You see what I'm saying? Great. Very simple. And the only additional thing you'll need, and these are sold on eBay, is these little rings. Now these, this particular ring, is the keychain ring. It's really heavy duty, and it's made for Swiss Army knives. So type in Swiss Army knife uh, lanyard ring or Swiss Army knife ring on eBay. You get a six pack for like two bucks. It's meant to be the keychain ring for a Swiss Army knife, and this fits perfectly on any camera uh, attachment lug. I have my initials stamped into this leather. So, this one does not need a cincher, like the Black Rapid does. Since it's designed to fit any hand, you've custom built this for your hand. Rattle here? No rattle here. This stuff is will literally lift up a car. Your camera, once you put 20 stitches through with this heavy-duty, thick, black, waxed uh, nylon, it's made for stitching leather, but it's really, really tough stuff. You can stitch anything with it. Okay, once you do it, you're never, your camera's never going to drop. This thing will never wear out. Never. <laughs> it'll never wear out. And it'll be so cool, because you can pick whatever color you want. And it won't look like a piece of crummy merchandise that you purchased from some New York retailer. And people will be like, where'd you get that cool hand strap? And you can go, I made it, bitch. <laughs>
<laughs> you know that other hand strap that I made for my Fuji X? Everybody keeps asking me, they said, where did you get that cool hand strap? Where could I buy one? I said, you can buy one, but you can make it yourself, and I showed you a video how to make it. This is a different sort of hand strap. I said, once you custom cut it for your hand, once you slip your hand through there, unless you purposely wiggle it out, even if you let go of your camera, your camera is not going to fall off your hand because you have custom fit it for your specific hand. And it's so simple. And you could make one of these, oh, uh, about 25 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. Once you stitch this, and then take your other cordage and wrap around there and super glue it, or you could even stitch it if you want, or you could just tie it in a knot, or you just do this number. You just go round and around, except not here, but right here where the leather is, you know, to give it a nice little accent instead of seeing these pieces stitched together on the end. It looks professional, and it is professional. And um, your camera's not going to drop. Not when you use this stuff, baby. Not needle and thread, but this heavy waxed leather. It's made for stitching leather. It's waxed nylon uh, uh, for stitching leather. You can find it off eBay. It's like five bucks a spool or three bucks a spool. You'll need a leather needle. You'll need a big needle with a big eyelet. Or you can go to your sewing store and just get a needle with a big eyelet on it. So that is the DIY tip of the day. And this looks awesome, doesn't it? You can make this any color you want, any thickness you want. Hold on a second, let me grab something. Make it your choice. What do you want it to look like? I got some other cordage. If you want your hand strap to look like this funky stuff, isn't that neat? Looks like a bumblebee. What about this funky stuff? It doesn't have to be this color. It could be black. It could be funkadelic. It could be bumblebee. Whatever you want. Most of the stuff is, the thicker stuff like this is like 25 cents a foot. And to make a hand strap, <laughs> you only really need a couple of eight. And you know, so you're talking, other than the, the lanyards, which you get six for two bucks, you're talking, you know, you can make three or four hand straps for four bucks. Awesome. You know it's awesome. Thanks for watching. You can catch you later. Bye.